Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode 12 of my Valheim series here on my channel. Once again, and guys, it is fantastic to have you back, and yeah, we're, <laughs> we're doing two recordings in a week. What's going on? Um, I hope you all really enjoyed the last episode. It seemed like it's gone down quite well. Thank you so much for everyone's comments and things. Sounds like you are all just excited as I am about this uh, new port dock area that I'm trying to build. Uh, it's lots to do. Lots to do. So yeah, I don't want to hang around too much with um, all the niceties at the beginning. But I, what I will say, as always, is thank you so much for all the support or across the channel for everything. Um, and you know, as I say, the last episode we hit 1,500 subscribers, which is huge. Um, and I used to get excited for every single 10, you know, just, just 10 um, subscribers extra. The fact that I'm getting excited every 100 now is just, it's, it's, it's crazy. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Um, so thank you so much. Without further ado, let's crack on. So, as I'm sitting here, admiring the fire with my hood off, let's put it back on so I get my sneaky effect back. There we go. Literally. Um, we have a lot to do. So I wanted to start off where we finished off in the last episode a little bit. Uh, as in, with um, picking up a couple of turnips, because we can now. And one of our boars has, well, all of our boars are fully grown now. Um, so I do need to name two of them who we're going to keep, and then we will quietly cull off the rest of them. Uh, but without further ado, let's see what things we can build when we pick up a turnip. Spice rack! There it is, Jacko turnip. Interesting. The spice rack is indeed there, which is fantastic. So let's pick up all of these. Hello, Mr. Boar. Thankfully, he's a tame one, so he's not going to attack us, which is lovely. Uh, and thank you for the comments about the boars as well. Um, I can't quite remember the name. I do apologise. Uh, but thank you so much for your comment on about the, about the boars and how you know they, how they will grow up and the squealing noises and everything. That was fantastically helpful. Um, but yes, there's lots to do to, to, uh, today, which is very exciting. Um, oh, it was Jay. It was Jay. That was the name. Jay, thank you so much for your comments regarding the boar. Uh, very helpful. But yes, we have the turnips now. So let's see how we do a spice rack. Uh, I have absolutely no idea how this is done. I thought it'd be in, is it in furniture as in crafting, maybe. There it is. Three dandelion, two carrot, five mushroom, three festival, three turnip, and a workbench. So I'm hoping we should just be able to just hang it over here. Or if not, maybe at the back there. But let's quickly start off this episode with a success by going dandelions, carrots, mushrooms. Okay. Uh, and we need some of these as well. I don't know how many it was, but we'll just take... Five, can't quite remember. Uh, we'll need the dandelions. Not all of them, but some of them will be lovely. I think it was three of these, but again, we'll just be careful. We'll do as many as we can. Two carrots, five mushrooms. Uh, carrots? I don't have any carrots saved up. Maybe I have to go and pick some as well. But the mushrooms. And we'll run out and grab those carrots quickly. And we'll get uh, an early win, as I say, on the board. How many was it do we need? Just two. I will come pick up all of these um, pretty soon. Uh, we will keep you in there, Mr. Boar. It's a shame you actually ended up in there because unfortunately it means he's probably going to be the first one to be um, knocked on the head. Right. How does this work then? Can I hang this from anywhere? Could I hang it here? Oh, I can hang it there. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Put it in the middle here. I'll turn it this way so it's facing this way. Oh, here we go. Look, black soup sausages. Turnip stew. Oh, I quite like how that's hanging there. It's quite, quite a pretty little addition. So now, if we go in here, here we go. Black soup. 50 health. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Uh, new mead bases, minced meat sauce. Oh, that was we could already do that one actually. Um, sausages though. Here we go. Fifty-five health with the entrails, boar meat, and thistles, and a muck shake wakes you up. Fifty stamina. It's exactly what we want. Um, so that's pretty cool. Ooze, raspberries, and blueberries. So basically, we just need to keep picking everything we see and keep growing as much as we can, which is cool. Right, let's pop these away quickly, and then let's get straight back into what I was wanting to do with you guys. Uh, whilst we're here, two acorns. We, uh, I did take down a oak tree, because as you can see here, I actually used my um, 
elder power uh, to see what it's like and my god you can harvest trees quickly and the way I can show you how that I harvest a tree is quite quickly is the amount of wood I picked up in about 10 minutes yeah don't worry we have so much more stone in this and we have a lot more wood than this as well but we left off with it like this now I've had an idea I've been looking at some photos online um, uh, because I've recorded this episode quite soon after the previous one I haven't uh, been able to have a proper look at your guys uh, suggestions that's in two beautiful ports looking uh, looking ports I'm tempted to do one for the small boat and one for the big boat but the small one I saw was just really picturesque but I'm tempted to do this at an angle and a 45 degree angle coming in here we'll get rid of this rock here and instead of having to build out deep into the water what we'll do actually is just uh, as someone I think has previously uh, suggested to us we'll just clear the ground out back a little bit um, so I'm quite liking that idea and it means we can try and curve it, you know, off here, right way around and out, like this. Nice curving area. Might even put a bit of grass here, get a tree here maybe. I don't want to cover our lovely building too much that I know I raved about so much last episode. But yeah, I think it'd be quite fun to give this a go and just maybe even get the template down again like we've done with the core wood. Just to get an idea of the kind of angles I want to try and get here. But yeah, why don't we give this a little go? So, I shall take a quick cut here and I will see what I can come up with. So we're back in just a second. Okay, so this is the sort of idea I've got a little bit going. So that's curving beautifully off here. We might get rid of these uh, core wood logs, but uh, just going out, because that was just kind of for uh, stability, but it's kind of going out there. And this is the angle, so the bit will come into here. Uh, and we'd bring the dock right in. So I was gonna now go two over, and then that is the right-hand side of the dock. And then you have all this space here, and the other side of the dock will be over here. And then we can decide what to do uh, with the roof and things. But I think this could end up being quite nice. Um, I quite like the curvature, you know, getting some curves into this area. We can almost mirror this curve on this side going into the wood here. Um, and just have little garden areas maybe. Um, you know, raise the ground up a little bit to match that. Um, oh, I want to fix that. Um, can I fix it please? There we go. Got it's basically broken. Looking good now. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and push this out by two, as in probably by one full length core wood log or actually just two of these as I'm trying to do this on the base um, I can try and get one of these on it'd be pretty cool so that's one quarter of the way there we go like that yeah before the waves come there we go managed to get it ah get up get up there cool so this sort of thing really um, is that thick enough there or do we want to go three across or even four across and go really chunky so we're going to try and go back quite far, I think. We could go three. It's a tough one, actually. Or do we go four? Now, a little trick for you guys uh, that I'm going to try and remember how to do now. Um, it's actually kind of like this. That's if I go... I mean, I did show you guys, I think, in a previous episode. And I'm failing to do it quite badly here now because I can't actually get onto this piece of wood. <laughs> But yes, if you're good enough to actually stand on this, there we go, you can uh, supposedly get out here. I'm doing this really, you know, really badly, but, ah, oh, that's what it was. Yeah, you do this and then you can stand on this. Oh God, let's just ignore that for a minute. Anyway, you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get out here, but I'm thinking I'm going to try and go three deep, um, maybe even four. Uh, we shall see. Um, let's get rid of all of those because that was a terrible idea and terrible demonstration. Um, but yeah, cool. So let's go one more out and let's then see how that looks as we go back in here. Uh, and I want to see, let me map out just how far back I want it to go in. Um, so we'll be right back with you. Okay, so I thought I'd bring you back in. Now, I could have showed a lot more there, but it's been a nightmare building in water. Because we are starting to get a bit of a framework together here. Now, I know people are going to say that's way too high. You can't, you know, get out your boat onto that. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, but we will definitely fix that soon. I'm just trying to get a bit, a bit lower here. If I can. There we go. But this is what I'm having to deal with at the moment is just this sort of thing. Come on, there we go. Nicely done. Yeah, just this sort of stuff, trying to get out far enough so I can actually then get a viewpoint on the end of this. Oh, no. 
Well, this is going to be tricky now, isn't it? Can't reach the bottom anymore. So I might have to do some funky placements for a little bit. Ooh, and we're out of core wood. We need more core wood. Oh no. Uh, but yes, this is what I'm trying to deal with at the moment. It's pretty pretty tough stuff, actually. But it's starting to, it's starting to take shape, as I say. Um, we'll have the curving sweeps here. This is all going to be undercover, and we'll fix up the colours and things, make it all look nice. Um, the actual level will probably be a little bit lower than this. Uh, to get it nice and close to sea level, so that when the boat eventually goes in... Uh, here it is. Uh, it, it will fit. That's before you, you're still panicking. I have checked. I had it four wide here. It's now five wide. Um, just because, yes, we were getting very tight in, in trying to get that in. So, yeah, a bit of improvement. Right, we need some more core wood. Uh, and so I thought, in the meantime, I can quickly show you the power of this elder um, feeling. Oh, you might see here, look, I've got some raw fish. Some fish just wa washed up on the shore. And I was, uh, yeah, like a thank you very much, very kind of you. Anyway, let me show you how good this is. So there you go. The Elder Power surges through you. Let's go to town. Like three hits for a fur. I mean, the oaks, I get down in two. It's great. Oh, and there's a lovely little lag spike. As I cannot hit. I really hope this is a st stump I was hitting. Yes, it was. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty powerful. And you can... Oh, this is not on, this is on without the core wood, isn't it? So all this effort to knock down these trees, I'm not actually going to get anything out of them. Right. Well, we always need more wood, don't we? Uh, because we might change out some of these pillars for uh, iron pillars at some point. Um, I'm really not about that. I have to go to the dark, dark forest. Um, but um, yes, the power of Ikthir is very good. It's very powerful. And you, sir, need to leave me alone. Walk into it. Wow. Idiot. Um, but yes, it's very powerful and it's very, very good. So that didn't quite work, but I had to run to the dark forest and I've now probably wasted the power for the next 20 minutes. Because um, you only get, say, five minutes of it and... Oh no, we have some over there. Let's be quick. This is not going well. Yes, just going to grab some more cool wood and then we'll probably crack on um, and try and get the frame finished. And even, even if, you know, we're not going to get too far with the shelter today. We might do, actually. I don't know. I mean, I've currently been recording for over an hour. But um, it shows how much work's gone into this. But uh, you've probably only had about 10 minutes of, of actual footage. So, yes. Interesting. But this is what I mean. Look, 50. 50 hit points. So good. And there we go. We've got some more uh, pine cones there as well. Brilliant. Now, if I can try and get this to land... On the other one. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't need to. Is that gonna land in it and just little bit. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Every little helps. And there we go. Got some lovely core wood and an annoying person. So what I found out as you can see is that you can actually do your harvesting and everything with the cart on your back so that you can just keep going. So you don't have to take it off, leave it somewhere, keep running back to it. Just keep the car on me. But look how fast we can hit through all of this. I mean, wow. And then we just load it up, you see? Just so much easier um, of a way to do things. Okay, pick the rest of that up. Pick all that up. Et voila. And you just turn around, pop it all in. Let's keep the fish out for now. Uh, but yeah, super duper easy, really. Um, which is fantastic. Oh, another oak tree. But I do want to leave the oak trees a little bit. And I do want to plant one. Now that we have the uh, the acorns, I'd like to plant one fairly central in our base. I'd like to pay homage to it, almost. It'd be quite fun. Um, but brilliant. Right, I will quickly get the rest of this frame done. And I'll come back to you when it's looking, hopefully, a little bit cooler. And probably going to go back a little bit further to show you kind of how big I want this to be. It's probably going to be twice this again in. Maybe one more. I don't know. We'll see. But I want it to be a fairly spectacular piece of um, architecture, you could almost say here. You know, I'd like it to look really good. Well, we've got no pool with there. But, um, but yeah. So we'll be right back with you when we've actually hopefully made a little bit more progress. See you in a minute. Okay, so here we go. We're getting pretty close now to being done here. This has taken 
a long, long time to do. Oh my lord. But it's going to be worth it once we get... Oh, I need more core wood, really. But yes, it's going to be worth it once we actually get there. I'm going to make these for now. Um, but yes, it's it's starting to really take shape. I've only got three back, actually, because I think that's kind of big enough. It's going to fit the whole boat in. And we can always extend it one direction or the other if we need to at some point. All right, I'm trying to find the angle again. Where was it? That was it. That was it. There it is. God. Whew. Little tricks there. So if you put a plank one next to it, you can have to, you know, get a bit closer to what you're the height you want to get. Um, and yeah, so just the last few bits really are to keep pulling this out. Another four. This tree. Oh, I've got the hammer. Um, the tree's going to have to go. But yeah, I mean, it's starting to take shape now. Um, it's a lot bigger than I. <laughs> <laughs> so it always happens, but it's going to look really cool, I think. You know, the, the, the end level might actually only be this high. Um, who knows? Or we do raise it up and have a bit, you know, change the levels a little bit, so it's not all the same height. I do like a bit of change in level, because at some point we are going to have to put stairs up and keep building up the hill, uh, which will require us to, um, to, to, you know, do all that stuff. Um, it requires us to go up the hill and change levels and all those lovely, lovely things. Um, but you can see how long this has taken me, as the Elder Power is just about to re-establish itself, which is great. But let's quickly knock this beach down. Hopefully it doesn't fall towards me, otherwise I'm in trouble. Phew. That's lucky. Let's get rid of these guys. Yeah, I'll come back to you, actually. Let's keep building as we get a nice little spike there. Uh, is that the four? That's the four. Brilliant. Okay, I don't think I've got enough, enough core wood right now. We're not enough to do this. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. This is when it's going to get a bit tougher. Um. Oh, excuse me. Come on. Silly boy. That's what you get. But yeah, it's starting to look quite cool. So actually starting to like, turn the corner properly. Um, what I'm tempted to do actually is to try and uh, it doesn't really stick out to the water much, but that's not, the, not a big problem. We could chisel this out of the way and then bring like a curve off here and have like a little side dock for our smaller boat because obviously we're not going to get rid of our smaller boat. Um, we want to use it for missions where we want to go up rivers and things like that, you know, for raiding parties and all that lovely stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's, there's a lot more stuff to do this because I will probably chisel out quite a lot of this as well I want us to all really be underwater uh, if I can um, if I can't then I can't but I could extend these out a little bit so look, this water level does come up quite high in storms it's gonna be quite interesting actually how that how we will fare with that oh I just seen we've got more core wood over here that I had left behind I knew I had some more somewhere hello there we go you are all mine now. Oh, we have low stamina. I was about to swim across there, but that would have been a bad idea. Ooh, getting low. There we go. But yeah, so, so it's all going well. It's all starting to retake shape. Um, one thing I'll probably do this episode is try and get the platforms kind of sorted a little bit with the heights and the stone and bits and bobs like that, really. Um, what's good is that these are all, all these supports are grounded, so they all coloured blue. Um, because of that. Um, so that's pretty cool to have. Um, otherwise it makes it a little bit tricky um, trying to do everything else, you know. So we're trying to get loads of stone things on it and it's going to run out of a... So hopefully that's low enough for me then to get the angle. No. Let's try and do that again. That might be good actually because then I can hopefully... Come on, you know you want to. This is getting tricky now. Once I bring this one across then, temporarily, uh, from here, sorry. And then it's a one. Uh, don't worry, I will change it because I know it's the other way on the other ones. So I'll do that now before I forget. It is a one on the inside, um, and then a two to go to the outside like that. There we go. Uh, now, I wonder if I can do something with this now. Get underneath it, maybe? No. This is not really working. 
I don't think they did anything to help. Unless... Unless I can try and catch the corner there. Will this be friendly to me? No. Okay, we'll figure that out in a second. Maybe, maybe I should chisel some of this away because it's all going to be knocked down quite low anyway. Um, it's very low because the water's got to get, you know. What's cool is that the water actually raises here, so there's actually less for us to do here. Uh, very, very handy indeed. Um, maybe we'll take that flint actually. Uh, now I wonder if we can get even lower this time. There it is. That's the one we were looking for. Get rid of this for now. Okay, so there we go. This is starting to take shape now. Can't really get a good view of it. But you could copy what we did on the other side and curve it out on the other side too, actually. So, I know I've just done all this stuff, but it curves out from here. It's quite early. Maybe I don't do the same. Maybe I just curve it out a little bit later, like here somewhere, and curve it round. Who knows? We can come back to that in the future. But for now, that's looking pretty cool, I think. So the big next thing is to start chiseling all this out. Um, or actually start getting the platform in, as I said. Um, I need to put some cord cool in there, don't I? Um, but yeah, that's all starting to really take shape, which is cool. Uh, and I'm liking it a lot so far. Um, as I said, I am going off a few photos I've seen that I really like. Um, so yeah. And then for the boat size, I think I've already showed this uh, earlier. We'll just, yeah, just pop in here. It's pretty cool. It is actually almost the length of it already. Shit, maybe, maybe I do need to go to a, and a one more in. Which would be quite cool, because I, I could actually then dig out a lot of this side here. Like a lot of that bit of land. Because suddenly this is actually really sticking out in the sea. And then you actually use the other side of that as like another bit of port, maybe. That's potential for this little fella to sit in. Um, it's quite quite hard to, to judge. The good thing probably is actually just to build this boat. But I don't want to use a hundred nails yet. <laughs> That's five iron. But I don't really want to be chucking out uh, at a boat quite yet. Okay, so let me have another little brainstorm about what I want to do here and the heights of things. I'm worried this could be too high. But if you look at the boat height actually. Maybe it's not. Should I compare the heights of things? It's quite hard to judge when it's all... Hmm. So it's about... It's quite high, isn't it? So maybe the, the wood height here is actually is quite a good height. In which case, what I'm thinking of doing is getting some stone in here. Like so. At... Can I get the height? Oh, I could almost go that height. That could be quite a good height. What about that height? That could be quite cool. And obviously it's three wide, so that works quite nicely. So this could be a bit of a possibility. Um, you know, see how this works. As we fall into the water again. But yeah, that, that could be quite cool. Uh, and then what we could do is actually we could just remove the bar here where the... Um, where the gateway or the gangplank for this place is see how the gateway for this you can see oh, it's really hard to see yeah there where the ladder is wherever that ladder is which would be the middle one here we could open this up so you had to come on here we could even have a singular post and then down singular post and down and that could be the sort of um sort of shape we take but that could work quite nicely um my only hope is that the water doesn't come up over this which it shouldn't do it's quite high for it it's actually almost it is, yes, it is the exact same height as this, which is pretty cool. Uh, says the one person who was literally just talking about uh, not doing that. <laughs> now this is a possibility as well, getting some stone arches in. How much stone do they use? Four. And you need to eight to do one stone. Hmm. No, we'll stick to this. But here we go. This could be quite good. Or not. Hmm. Right, we'll figure this out and I should come back with potentially a plan or some work put in. Okay, so we're starting to get a bit of shape here. So I have gone with wood out here because actually I couldn't 
have the stone coming out because the stone obviously needs like a solid support underneath as it's a stone floor. Bit annoying, but nonetheless I'm sure we can work a way to make this these two blend together nicely and look good. Um, in the meantime though, I feel like it might be time to start digging some of this out so we can get a better look at it. Or do I just keep building everything else? It's, just, it's a really tough one right now. I'm really struggling to do um, to think about ideas. Um, does that look narrower than that? Right, it's the same. But yet, uh, yeah, so it's it's all coming along. But yes, I've been thinking I want to dig this back out to here somewhere. And from here, almost dig out all the way along here, out to here somewhere where it rejoins. So it's going to be quite a lot of digging to do, um, but I think it would look really good. It'd really help this pier here being out in the water up to like here somewhere. Um, so it really like sticks out properly, um, even if we go at an angle like that back back out. But um, yes, yeah, so that's something we could do. Um, in the meantime though, I mean, yeah, I've been recording for a very, very long time, so I might have to go and take a pause, but um, it is starting to come together. Um, but I was thinking we could actually build the boat, just in case. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it yet. Um, but yes, we can all sail this little boat in. Why not? Why don't we check out and see how this boat fits in to everything at the moment? Um, we can see if it looks good and if I've actually got anything in here. Woods. Ooh, nice. Ooh, a withering, withered bones. Look at that. Fantastic. So we do actually have some stuff. So we do have some wind behind us, which is lovely. I wonder if I can get the boat round enough and drop a sail. If we can try and sneak our way out of here. And then go hard down. And just get a gauge of the height of everything. Yeah, so in this boat you're quite low. So I think I'm going to have to build this a little dock for this fella. Just to the side of it here. Because, yeah, for example, when you get to here... quite high isn't it uh, yeah not even jumping I mean if I was clever enough to remove this before you know as I said what I'm thinking of doing don't fall in there Willy uh, what I was thinking of doing if I've got enough wood for this is to actually just go one out one out and then a little fella yeah I can always make them stick up a bit proud um, it's quite nice and then, obviously, we'll be, we want to be a bit, bit closer, but it is makeable. Obviously, the other boat is going to be so much wider. Oh, I'll actually fix this whilst we're here as well. Um, it's going to be so much wider that, you know, we'll probably be okay. I mean, the comparison of widths is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so much space. Um, let's pick that up. But yeah, okay, so this one, obviously, will not be going here. It's probably going to have its own little dock here somewhere so we could just lower everything right down to this level here and then just have everything just slope down a touch um, or have a, just a, another little as obviously this is going to come right in here have another little pier I don't know I don't know it's like sticking out I don't know I don't know this is loads of things to think about um, yeah I quite like this little, little entrance way as it's going to be pretty good for when the big fella goes in here um, so it is tempting, it is really tempting to build it up. But I suppose I should probably just start digging it all out. Um, so decent sort of, yeah, I'm not gonna get far doing that. But yeah, what we need to do is establish a level, which I can work at, and then just start going for it, really. But yeah, so this is the sort of thing we're gonna have to do. We're gonna get so much stone from this as well, which is great, because I'm gonna need as much stone as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Not going to be great if it keeps rising up the sea levels like that, though. But yeah, okay, that, that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how this is going to work. And it shouldn't be too hard to do, but I do want to dig out lots of stuff. I can't dig around the stone, so maybe the stone is going to have to disappear a little bit. But it is starting to come together. Um, so what I will do is I will pause here for now. I actually need to do some editing of this video to see actually how long I have been recording for. And no, that is not wrong. It's just a reflection of the water. I promise you. <laughs> I promise I spent so long on it. Um, brilliant. Right, okay. Um, we'll take a pause for now. Come back to this in a second. But it is really starting to take shape. And I'm quite glad I did it at an angle. Um, 
The only thing is, if I do want to put a roof on it, how's that going to work? Because I don't, I don't want to block this. Unless it's just a roofless building. I need to build another one on the other side, and that's the big roof one there. And have this sloping down. Oh, God, ideas. Too many ideas in my brain. Right, we'll be, 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 blah, blah, blah. We'll be, be back. We will be back very shortly when uh, I come up with some ideas. And, yeah. Thought about what on earth I'm trying to do here. Okay, so what I thought we'd do in the meantime, it has been a couple of days since uh, my last bit of recording, but uh, what I thought we'd do in the meantime, uh, I've done a little bit extra over there about the port, but um, in the meantime, I thought we could actually go and do a little bit of wood chopping. But before I do that, I'm going to need some more food, so I thought we could quickly together make up some fun bits of food. So, I'm quite interested in making a couple of different things. So sausages are probably the main one. So entrails, boar meat and thistle. Now, we're going to have a lot of these, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Loads of entrails. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Some boar meat, which we should have in raw meats. Only five, but we can obviously quite easily get more. Um, and then thistles. So once again, we need to keep harvesting our thistles whenever we go out. But for now, let's get some sausages. 55 health. We'll do... Use all the wall meat up, basically. This is going to be great for our health. And there we go. 20 sausages. Fantastic. Now, uh, I'm obviously going to want some... Something for stamina. What's our highest stamina right now? Uh, 45 isn't bad. 50. Ooze, raspberries, blueberries. Okay. I think we've got a little bit of ooze, haven't we? Got lots of ooze. Fantastic. Raspberries, blueberries. This is why you keep collecting these as well. Fantastic. Look at this. This is great. Uh, let's see. A muck shake. Uh, let's do... Let's do all 10, I think. Probably. I think we can do. And don't worry, we won't take it all with me. I've learnt my lesson. Um... I'm going to take a little bit of it with me, but this is going to be fantastic to have on us. And then we might make some beef to boar jerky again on the side. One more. Fantastic. And, yeah, as I think I'll probably go for a normal one that's like medium tier. As in for both, which is like this one here. It's pretty good. So, yeah, boar meat and honey. Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> so, we could do the blood bag, honey and turnip. Why not? Why not? We've got, you know, we're just... Uh, blood bag. You can put these two away. Honey and turnip. Okay. Uh, honey. Just about enough honey. Uh, and turnip. Where do we put our turnips? Do we didn't use them all. Where did I put them? Didn't leave them out in our cart, did we? Can't have used them all. No way. No? Interesting. Yeah, I can't have used them all for the, uh... Hmm. Where the hell did I put them? If it was C's, did I? No. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Black soup. We won't make any meat base, but we'll make... Oh, it's raining. Of course it is. We'll sleep and then we'll go. Uh, no item black soup. And we'll just make... Five of these for now. Or we just make them all, I suppose, and uh, leave five behind. I mean, why not? Uh, actually, I want to plant up my turnips, don't I? So, yes, actually, let's pause there. Let's pause, pause, pause. Um, yes. Oh, I forgot we got a, a needle from Desquito. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, let's now put all these things away, which we do not need. Uh, so, thistles and stuff will go in here. Uh, those can go in there. Animal stuff, we'll see this needs to go in here, these need to go in here, and I suppose they're supposed to go in there. Trying to keep them all in here if we can. I think I'll just actually put the soup in there. Um, okay, cool. So then we put the berries away and the honey. That, that, and that, and that. Just for neatness. Okay, now food wise, let's put some of the foods we don't need in here. So I only want to keep five of each. Probably. And ten of the, those. 
And then we'll leave that behind. I think we'll do that. How much of this stamina was? It's not much stamina, actually. So maybe we do... Let's eat some of these. I'm actually full already. Or maybe we just keep that with us, with us as well. So you can mix it up as we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, I might put that club to start with. That. Let's do that. It'd be good to upgrade my shield at some point. I think that would be just an autosave there. Um, okay, cool. I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, what does this portal take me to again? The Elder. I don't think I want to go all the way over there, do I? No. no the Black Forest is, looks like that. I can't actually remember if there's a Black Forest over here or not. I think it's actually worth just going over there. Um, Strip look. Quite tempted to go have a look. Let's sleep first, maybe. Because um, this is the thing I haven't played in so long, I just can't really remember. Um, but yeah, there is something close to, to that, then it'd be great. And we can. I need to start making little bases in, in different biomes so that I can just. What was that noise? It sounded a bit ominous outside. Hmm, interesting. That should all ease off now outside. Okay, well let's go and see what happens when we go in here and where it actually takes us to. I'm quite interested. <clears throat> uh, and I'll do a bit of wood chopping and then we will go back and do a bit more on the port. It is a black forest. Fan dabby dozy. Well that makes my life a bit easier, doesn't it? So let's... Oh, it looks much smoother out here with no bugs or anything. Nothing else going on. Brilliant. Right, let's get our Ichthyr power going. There we go. Not Ichthyr, Elder. And let's go to bloody town. So we will see you in just a minute after we have decimated the majority of trees in this place. See you in a bit. Okay, so there we go. There's quite a lot of wood. Now you might be looking at my health bar going, hang on a minute. How cool is that? 139 from doing these three combo. And, you know, I've got a f 130 stamina, so it's not the highest stamina, but um, not bad. Anyway, wood-wise, I actually forgot I had quite a lot of this here already, um, but we've now got a lot of wood. Um, I even just want to put it all outside because it's just cool. Uh, so, another 50, another 50, another 50. There we go. There we go. Let's go and put this all down. And, yeah, now we are properly set for the rest of the port. What is that noise? Still no uh, attack yet. You know, swamp is not moving, uh, which is good. But let's just whack over this stuff. Uh, and then we put some of these down. We have so much wood, I don't know what to do with it anymore. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> Which means I'm now just going to do probably another chunk of work here. And probably just call it a day. Um, yeah, I'm thinking... I've got all the wood. I should probably just try and finish off the entire framework, really. Um, maybe decide how I want to do it out here as well. But, you know, that's, that's a lot to think about. Um... But yeah, there's a lot of work to go on still. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I want it to look. Uh, but we could definitely get the wooden planks in over the other side and the stone going from here back as well. Uh, yeah, and just start to think about how we want to... Is that a fish? Uh, start to think about how we want to approach it. And at some point we will make the big boat, maybe in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, right, so let me crack on with this. Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm actually going to need for this. I'm going to need a lot of this wood. So let's take a bit of this and let's get cracking. Cool. So I'll come back when a chunk of this is done. And it should hopefully start to be taking a bit of shape, which should be quite cool. Be right back. Okay, so... Oof, a bit of lag again. But uh, we're looking pretty good now. Just make sure we're all eaten up. 100 days in, that's pretty cool. 106 days in. Um, right, let me show you my progress. We've done quite a lot, actually. Well, feels like a lot. But uh, I need my hoe. There it is. Of course, we've got all water smelt up, actually, haven't we? Uh, anyway, in the meantime, have a look what we've done here. It's starting to look pretty good, actually. Look at that. Look, it's all dug out. Mostly, anyway. We'll dug out a bit more and things under there. But in the meantime, we actually need to raise this ground up. 
because the stones are going, no, we don't like that. So there you go. And then just this last one here is annoying me because I can't actually do it because the stone cut is too far away. So what I have to do is just grab it all, go to crafting, just because it's just one silly piece of stone that I didn't want to be built. Come on, let me build it like this, please. I don't want to have to dig out <laughs> any more ground. There we go. And then I do want to like try and level this stuff out, really, if I can, as best as I can, uh, with the with the hoe. You know, to the best of my ability, really. So kind of to this sort of level. I don't know why, that, why did I do so low? No, 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 no. That's not good. Raise it up a bit. Hmm. Interesting. Something like that. And then I want to be able to green it up. That's paved red. I need the cultivator for that, I think. Uh, but yeah. If we get this all to a nice height, I think it's going to look really, really good. We'll probably end up getting like, this, these stony pathways here. Um, but, you know, for now, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I need to put a bar across the front here to stop people falling in, aka myself. I probably will fall in. And then we will try and do some sort of lower down thing here as well. But just to finish off, I wanted to quickly do something which I think everyone might like. Uh, let's pop the stone down. Have I got enough? No, let's just whack the stone in here. I haven't got enough for a full stack, unfortunately. But if I just pop through here and grab some of that and some of that without having that big thing in my face, I wanted to do this. I wanted to mirror this on this side because I thought it looked really quite cool to go one two three four not there five six just do that for now uh, and then it was one two three up oh not on, on one of the uh, one of these fellas is it how did I get that is that a big fella Quite sure how I did that, but we'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, then it's the small log beams. Matching it at this height. That might collapse. Not if I do this though. Okay, and then I just need a small fella. I like that. I think that looks really cool. And this could almost be like a little storage area. We, we could green this up, you know. I then tended to try and get some paths going through here. Like have a little, you know, make a little thing so that you kind of split off to go this way. Split off to go up that way. I don't know, you know. We have to try and see how we can do this to make paths a bit a little more obvious around here. Um, yeah, because you can still have something that just comes around here to force you in down this channel here. But, you know, start to try and make it look cool. Uh, just to get some finishing touches off. Uh, but quickly, whilst we're here, we will get this finishing touch on. Uh, like so. I don't know how I really want to finish this, actually. Um, there's something, anything cool I can do here, maybe? That's not bad. So they, they don't quite, it doesn't quite work, but the idea isn't isn't bad, actually. Um, yeah, so that one's just a little bit odd. It's annoying. Fortunately, I don't think, I don't think we're going to have to change that. It's not bad, though. The idea, as I say, still stands. Uh, and then this side, obviously, we need to quickly do the same as on the other side. So no matter where we approach the boat from, it'll always be the same. Quickly pop this in. We could almost do the same as that here, uh, if we wanted to, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, but for now, the port is really, really starting to take shape. We could definitely make these a bit taller if we wanted to, uh, and we could put 
like lamps on them or something or braziers hanging off the side or something like that make it look quite cool um yeah i definitely want to plant some trees around here as well uh obviously not too close because the big boat obviously will be humongous uh what we do actually eventually get to it as you can see i can't even see the mast it's just i want to build it you know probably first thing next episode just so we can actually see how big it actually is i then will cut back this underground bit here i want to get that so there's no grass or anything sticking up same on this side i want to i want to mine all the, all the stuff away from here you can almost actually just do that <laughs> and that kind of gets rid of the reeds a little bit um but yeah no for now it's looking pretty cool uh, and then obviously we have the problem that if the big boat is too low what we'll do is we'll just drop a little bit here just bring it down <laughs> i just used my hands on the screen to go oh we'll bring it down either side obviously you can't see that um <clears throat> in the meantime we're going to call that an episode uh definitely progress definitely progress it's starting to look quite cool uh, i don't want this to be too flat though i do want to start getting some levels in because everything at the moment is the same level so quite keen for my next buildings to be up a bit higher, um, you know, behind, and get, just start getting some elevation going. Uh, there's some stairs going up, and all that sort of thing, as we get another big autosave. Wow. Oh, that was just a leg spike. My god. But yeah, big fan of this little uh, addition here, going into the into the rock here. Almost like penning up our materials. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And we'd have a think about what we're going to do here. So as I say, I've got this idea to follow this, I kind of almost copy this again in the middle here. And that could, this could go off one way up to you know, obviously the tower here, we could fix how we get into there. Um, and then obviously have one going up to the port here, and then maybe even try and get one going through the middle, which just takes us onto here and around the back into whatever else we've got over here. If we put some stairs here going up to the next part, who knows? So much to do, so many ideas. But brilliant, we'll call it an episode. Uh, we have lots of honey to collect, but they're so bright I can't even see anything. We have lots of wood, we're ready to go. So yeah, without further ado, let's have some more soup and some more of that. Look at our health bar, it's fantastic. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.